balls on the front porch, chicken picking. My mom was in the kitchen cooking chicken. And Flo was tuning up the dope, bro. Uncle Joe. <laughs> Welcome back. And I say welcome back because some of you guys are going to recognize these pictures. Or these units anyway. And the one over there is the one that had the snakes behind the defrost board that burned it up about a month and a half ago. And then about three weeks later I came back and this one had a bad capacitor in it that was swollen and blown. Well, now it has quit cooling again. Sometimes you just got that house. It just always has problems. <laughs> Every year. And uh, this year, this is the house. So, let's see why this unit is not running <sighs> so there's the capacitor that I changed on July 31st of this year to be good I mean it is a jarred capacitor just because it looks good and it's not swollen doesn't mean it's not dead so let's get out the meter and start checking some things uh, can't push contactor in because it's got this cover plate on it so I'm just gonna check for voltage and I have nothing I don't have any voltage to either leg so let's go check the breaker. Huh. Breaker stripped. Hmm. So before I try to turn that on, yeah, let's turn it on. Didn't even try to start. Let's see if we're getting voltage. Could be a bad breaker. So I am getting 240 volts. Call for why? Thermostat's calling. No voltage. Am I getting 24 volts from inside? I am getting 24 volts inside. So Turn that breaker back off. So I'm getting 24 volts on the Y. That's my wire nut from a thermostat wire. I'm getting 24 volts to the defrost board.
getting 24 volts back off the defrost board. So something tells me I possibly have an open pressure switch on this thing. So on the pressure switch circuit, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be yellow with the black stripe. Of course, the wiring diagram on this thing is credit all the pieces there. If I'm not mistaken, put my glasses on. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be yellow with the black stripe. It's going to go in through these pressure switches come back on yellow with the red stripe okay so that's my Y out and then it's going to go back in here through the pressure switches And come back on yellow, got orange coming back, then you got yellow red. So There's orange with the yellow stripe. And it all should be coming back right here so to check continuity through this pressure switch circuit I am going to need to go from yellow black off my plug and I'll show you in just a minute you see on this unit you got Y to the defrost board then you've got Y out which is yellow with your black stripe get wire nuts to this yellow wire. This yellow wire goes in, goes through the high pressure switch, comes back off, or the low pressure switch, comes back off on orange with the yellow stripe. Then it goes back in on yellow with the red stripe, and then comes back out yellow, red stripe to the contactor. So we're going through the low pressure switch, then the high pressure switch, and then back to the contactor. So I want to check continuity between here and here, basically. Let's see if I have an open pressure switch. That cloud came in nice and dark. So So, I do not have continuity on this circuit for the low pressure switch. And that's got voltage on it, that's why it's doing that when I check continuity. So, if I really wanted to get picky with it, let me get my needle probes out. Where I can get down inside. These little white plugs here where they splice these wires together. Okay. So that's my black circuit. And then that's going in on my low pressure switch coming back out on this orange. And I don't have any continuity coming back off that orange, but let's go from there back to this wire. So I do have continuity on my high pressure switch. I'm just not getting continuity 
on my low pressure switch. So, let's see if there's any Freon in this thing. to hook up one of our probes and see if we actually have any standing pressure in this thing or at least enough for that pressure switch not to be tripped <coughs> excuse me <laughs> zero zero PSI which means we have a blowout leak in this unit and being that the pressure I don't know why the, the other pressure switch isn't open that's another story but of course, that's the high pressure switch, no shit. We're not dealing with high pressure, we're dealing with no pressure. So let's find out where this leak is. And the fact that that breaker was tripped in that panel, first thing I want to check is if the compressor terminal block is blown out on this thing. And guys, I know you can't see it from here, but down in the bottom of that thing, See that foot coming off the compressor and then right back in front of it, that little rut down in the bottom of the pad. You can see the headlight reflecting in the oil down there. Uh, don't have my phone where I can zoom in right now, but I'm going to guess the compressor block is blown out of this thing. So, Alright guys, I was looking at all this oil down here in the bottom. And I took off the terminal block and everything in there looks to be okay. But what I did find is right there. Got a wire rub. And that's the uh, wire for the crankcase heater. And it has rubbed through right there and it has popped a hole in the refrigerant line so we're going to have to get back out here and make a repair on that pressure test it change the dryer because it's sitting empty pull a vacuum on it and uh, Get it charged back up. So go figure. A wire rub in the outdoor units popped a hole in the refrigerant line. These people have had a bad luck this summer. Snake took that unit out over there. Capacitor went out on this one because that one sat while we waited for the board and got this one running like crazy and they set it at like 68 degrees upstairs so they run the hell out of this thing so the capacitor went out on it while that one was waiting and then now here we are a month and a half later and we have a rub leak in the refrigerant line right there so anyway we'll get back and get that fixed probably tomorrow Appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Super thanks. Support the channel. And uh, you guys have a good one. See you on the other side.